High Notion is. One of the things that my consulting clients often want to do is create a list of tasks whenever a new project is added to their project's database. And obviously, when you're creating your tasks, you generally want them to be scheduled a set number of days in the future, either a certain number of days after today's date or a certain number of days before a project's due date, for example. But unfortunately, one of Notion's limitations at the moment when you're creating automations using their built-in automation feature is that you can't set a relative due date for those tasks. You have to set them to today's date or pick a specific date. So the alternative is to use an automation tool like Make or Zapier to create those tasks for you. But then you run into another problem because at the moment you can't trigger automations from Notion when a page is created or updated. So instead you have to set the automations to run on a schedule and check whether there's any new pages or pages that meet certain criteria in your database and then run the automation if there are. But I have a solution for that too because I've just created a new app called Tapti which lets you embed buttons like this in your Notion pages which will instantly trigger your automations when they're clicked. I've created a make blueprint and a zap template which you can use to run these automations now and if you want to just get started with those straight away you can download them from the link in the description. But in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through how those automations are set up and how you can connect those with TapT to trigger those automations straight away. So first of all, if we open up our make scenario here, you can see that the trigger for this scenario is a webhook notification. So this is where we're going to send the notification from TapT when our button is clicked. Nice and straightforward to set up. You're just gonna to need to copy this link and add it to TapT when you go to set up your button in a minute. Then we've got this step here, which searches your projects database or whichever database it is where you're creating the item that your tasks or sub items should be linked to. And we're just sorting the pages in that database based on when they were created to get the most recently created page. And we only want one page now. So we're limiting this query to fetch a single page. Then once we found the page that we want to link our new task to, we can start creating those tasks. So we're going to do that in create a database item steps here. Obviously here you can fill out all of the details of the tasks that you want to create. So if you want to also populate tags or set a particular status for these new tasks, then you can do that here. The dynamic date functionality comes from this function, which is just adding a certain number of days to today's date. If you wanted to set the due date for this task to a certain number of days before the project's end date, then instead of using now here, we could just look at the end date from the date property from our project page and reference that. And then we would want to have a negative number of days uh, here instead of a positive number. So if you had a minus two here and you had selected the end date of the project, that would give you a date which would be two days before the end date of the project. And then lastly, we just need to link this task to the project page, which we fetched in the previous step. So here we're selecting the page ID of that project page. And then if we go through the other tasks here, uh, these are all configured in pretty much the same way. Obviously the only detail that's changing here really is uh, we're now adding two days to our start date in order to schedule this task one day after this task uh, and so on and so forth. We have a sleep step in this scenario so that we don't run into Notion's rate limits, which only allow you to make three API requests per second. And when we run this automation, this is going to create task one first, then task two, task three, task four, and task five. So when you're configuring this sort of template in Make, it's actually pretty straightforward to set this up. If we take a look at our Zap, the first step in this scenario is pretty much the same. We're just creating a webhook to receive our notification from TabD. For the second step, in order to search our database, we're having to configure the API request ourselves in order to use this filter to find our new page. So one of the disadvantages of using Zapier here is that we're having to make these API requests which we configure 
um, and we're having to, to create JSON here. Then we're having to repeat this formatter step in order to calculate the different dates for each different task. So that's obviously a little bit more effort to configure, but that just looks like this. So we're taking today's date and then we're adding one day to that date. We're setting the format that that date should be created in. And that's basically all we have to do there. And then when it comes to creating tasks, another one of Zapier's limitations is they haven't developed their Notion integration since Notion's API was first introduced. So we can't populate relation properties using the built-in Notion steps that Zapier has. And instead we have to create an API request with a JSON body that looks like this so that we can select the page ID from this step and enter that as the page which our new task should be linked to. So really I would recommend using make uh, in most cases if you want to set this type of automation up because obviously it's going to be a lot more straightforward to configure. And then we're just repeating these actions to create the remaining five pages in this automation here as well. So once we've got that set up, the last step is to create our buttons in Tapti. And if you sign up for a Tapti account at tapti.app, then once you're set up, you'll be taken to the, your dashboard page, which will look a little bit like this. If you click on create a button here, all we need to do to create a button is enter a name for the button for our reference. So we can call this create and schedule tasks demo. We can make the button text submit. We can call the widget heading create tasks. I will just choose the light theme here so that this matches the theme of my Notion page. There's more information about how that works just if you hover your mouse over this tooltip. And then the final step here is just to go back to our make scenario, click on this step and copy the address of our webhook. And then we can paste that into this field here. And if we want to make sure that that's working correctly, then we can run this module only and go back to Tapti here and click on test. And we can see that that test was successful. If we go back to our make scenario here, you can now see what was sent to make from our button. And in this case, we don't need to send any information when we're triggering this automation. So the contents of that notification is empty. So if we click save here, and we copy our button link from here, go back into our Notion page here, and paste that link into an empty block just here. Choose create embed and resize the embed window so that that looks nice and tidy. We'll align that button to the left so that, that fits in nicely. And now we're ready to run our automation. So if we just click submit here, then that is going to generate our list of tasks for us. So obviously the process for creating a Tapti button for Zapier is almost exactly the same. We would just be copying the link from our catch webhooks step just here. So we would copy the webhook URL from right here. And that's all we need to do to set up an automation to schedule tasks with relative due dates and trigger those automations instantly using Tapti. I hope that was helpful. Just let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments and stay tuned because I'll have more guides on how to create automations like this and probably more apps that I'll be releasing in the future as well very soon right here.